Hi, this is Cameron uh, with the Sea Butters channel. I uh, wanted to do some more testing with the Surface Pro 3, the i7 model, and I uh, had some had erroneously arrived to the conclusion that the i7 version was throttling less than the i5. But the reason that was is I was testing in a different environment than when I tested my i5, where uh, the room was a lot cooler and there was a lot of airflow in the room. And I'll show you why that's important. So. As you can see, I've been running this game nonstop, uh, Minecraft, and it's uh, even when throttled, the processor's down at 0.9 gigahertz. The graphics is at 600 megahertz, which is the same thing we saw on the i5. Super low frequencies, um, but it's still getting around 50 frames a second, which is better than what the i5 does. So the i7 is helped out by that HD 5000. So even though it's throttled, it performs better than the i5 did when it was throttled. Uh, but uh, the real reason that that this thing throttles uh, is basically this. So I've got a box fan back there. Uh, let's just watch what happens when I kick on the box fan. So you can instantly see the processor is bumping up. The frame rate just jumped to 100 frames a second. Uh, the processor is up to 2.1 gigahertz. Uh, the graphics frequency will probably bump up here in a little bit. You actually see the CPU temperature start rising here. And the reason it does that is because it, the clock speed jumps up. Uh, what this tells me is there's some sort of other sensor, as, as some people have theorized, uh, on the surface that is telling it to throttle. Um, and when the whole unit cools down, not the CPU temperature, but the unit itself, it will actually re release some of the limits that the throttling imposes. So, um, it's actually not the CPU temperature at all that was causing the throttling, it's some sort of other temperature sensor. Um, but you can see that uh, the throttling is instantly alleviated once you get uh, some, some additional cooling over the device to cool it down. Um, so you can see that green line that just went down, that's the power limit throttling. It just dropped because we've uh, lessened the load, the thermal load, uh, by pointing this fan at it. So the net effect is, see the graphics just bumped up to 650 for a, a little bit there. Um, you can go ahead and turn up that fan a little bit more. So graphics popped up to 700. And the most astounding thing is that frame rate right there. It's up at 90 frames a second, 93. We even are seeing the graphics spike at 800 there. So, the reality of the situation with the Service Pro 3 is if you want to have uh, playable frame rates, you need to uh, add additional cooling, which is uh, kind of ridiculous. So, um...
So we'll just sit and watch this and see see what it kind of does. The temperature is getting kind of hot, so the on the CPU. So we so we're seeing it's really not limited by the CPU temperature. That's not what's causing the throttling. There's a system wide throttling that's happening, uh, probably via the, some specialized Microsoft firmware. Uh, on we know they have a special chip in here to to regulate uh, temperatures and things like that. So. Let's go ahead and turn that box fan off. And you'll probably pretty quickly see the throttling turn back on with that fan off. So yeah, the graphics is... So we'll just watch it make a slow march back down. As the device heats back up. Yep, and there the processor is limited down, back down to to one gigahertz, one point four gigahertz, and it will probably drop all the way down to 0.8 gigahertz as uh, the device heats up and it gets throttled. So takeaways: the device is pretty much the the, <laughs> the i7 is better than the i5. Because uh, even when throttled, the, the frame rates do end up being a little bit higher uh, than the i5 when it's throttled. And we know the i5 throttles, so uh, the i7 is still better. Um, but uh, it's it's just as bad at, at throttling, if not worse. Uh, the other takeaway is that the CPU temperature does not throttle the device unless it's up in the 85-90 degree range. Um, it is a system-wide throttling uh, that is based off of some temperature sensor on the device other than the CPU. Um, and it may be doing this to protect internal components, uh, we don't know. Uh, but the real takeaway is it, it's kind of sad to see a Core i7 device that gets limited to, you know, 1 gigahertz, 800 megahertz, which is basically netbook territory here. Um, and the graphics frequency gets limited to as low as 200 megahertz as the heat picks up. So uh, it, it's kind of sad to see all this, you know, premium hardware kind of go to waste. But that said, the i7, it's better than the i5 Surface, but it's still not performing at what an i7 should perform at. So thanks for watching. I hope this sheds some light on throttling on the Surface Pro 3. Thanks for watching.